This was supposed to be a film by Mr. Watley. Mrs. Corley had too many gin and tonics. Mrs. Lewis said no, no one else would have a go. So now it's time for Mrs. Stevens phonics. This was supposed to be a film by Mr. Watley. Mrs. Corley had too many gin and tonics. Mrs. Lewis said no, no one else would have a go. So now it's time for Mrs. Stevens phonics. Hello everyone and welcome to day four of phonics. We are on page 11 in our workbooks. This is how it looks. We've got some phoneme friends today, so we're going to be practicing writing some words and then we've got some lines, so which means we're going to also be writing a sentence. So we definitely need to make sure that our writing hands and fingers are all ready for all of that writing. So give them a quick wriggle, disco fingers, and then a few squeezes, strengthen those muscles for writing, sitting back, because our first job is to practice all of the sounds. So here they are. I want to hear you lovely and loud from wherever you are, joining in with me. I, I, O, O, U or O, O, Ow, A, good job, E, E, Air, U or O, do you remember that one? So, ooh, ooh, stew and a brew. Ooh, well done. Or, 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 saw you yawn. Or, er, uh, oi. Do you remember that one? Oi, oi, joy of a toy. Oi, good job. And then this one, a, 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 play your day. Do you remember? A. Good job, everyone. So, I hope everyone's feeling good today. We are this week, or in this workbook, learning all about same spelling, different sound. So, same letter or groups of letters that can make different sounds when we see them and when we're writing them. So, same spelling, different sound. The last workbook was all about same sound, different spelling. So, we've done the opposite this time. Same spelling, different sound. Now, you might have spotted, those of you with eagle eyes, have noticed that Mrs. Stevens has got some letters on her board already. And everyone call out, what letter is it? Yes, it's the letter G. I've got a lowercase g and an uppercase g. So the letter G. Now, the thing with the letter G is that often and usually we expect the letter G to do this. I'm going to write a word. There's our word. So let's sound that out together, although I'm sure you just know it. G, O, T, got. So the word got. So in this word, the letter G is making what sound? Yes, it's making the G sound, isn't it? I've got another word with the letter G in this time. Let's see how we get on with that one. So this word begins with the letter G. And then let's have a go at sounding it out. Here we go. G, E, N, T, O. G, E, N, T, O. Gentle. Hmm. I've not heard of that word. So I'm wondering if sometimes the letter G makes a different sound. Well, it does. Sometimes the letter G makes a J sound. So J, should we try that and see if that sounds better? J, E, N, T, O. Gentle, yes, gentle, when you're very gentle with something, you're not rough, you're being gentle. So we have got the letter G making a G sound in this word and we've got the letter G making a J sound in this word. So sometimes the letter G says G and sometimes the letter G says J. So we've got two ways there. So let's see if we can use that information, use what we've just learned about the letter G to read some other words with the letter G in. So let's go. I'll write it, as I'm writing it, you can be calling out the sounds. There's our first one. Okay, let's try it together. G, A, P, 
gap. Oh yes, a gap. You know when your teeth fall out and you've got a tooth missing, then you'll have a gap in your teeth, won't you? A gap. So that works, doesn't it? With the letter G saying G. And remember, it's always wise to try with the more familiar sound first, so the G sound. So gap. Right, let's have a look at this one then. Here we go. Say the sounds as I write them. Have you got that? Okay, let's say it together. P, oh, ah, g, plug. Oh, a plug, like a plug that you put in your bath to stop all the water coming out. Plug. So the letter G is making the g sound again in that word, isn't it? So now let's have a look at this one. See if you can sound it out as I'm writing it. Good, have you got it? Should we try together? Mmm, ah, g, ick, magic. Oh, I definitely haven't heard of that word, so I think I should try the letter G saying j in this word and see if that sounds better. Mmm, ah, j, ick, magic, magic, ah, magic. So in this word, the letter G, it's still the letter G, just the same as in these words, but here it's saying a j sound, isn't it? Let's try another one. Do you know that one? Oh, some of you do. Should we try it together? D, A, N, G, uh, Danga. Danga. Oh, that's not right, is it? That sounds a bit funny. I'm going to try to see if the letter G is saying J instead in this word. D, A, N, J, uh, Danger. Danger. There we go. That sounds better. So something could be dangerous, couldn't it? So in all of these words, We've got the letter G, haven't we? But sometimes it's saying G and sometimes it's saying J and that's what can happen. So now let's see if we can write some words with the letter G in and it might say G and it might say J. So let's have a go with our phoneme frames. So I'll leave my letter G up there for us to see. Draw my phoneme frame. Always a bit wonky, isn't it? Never mind, here we go. So, let's try writing a really nice simple word to begin with. The word we're going to write is the word gas. So let's say it and count them on our phoneme fingers. With me, make sure you've got your fingers ready. Gas, g, a, s, gas. So we've got three sounds, so I don't need all my boxes. We don't need that one, gas, g, a, s, well done. So that first box is the g sound. In the middle we've got the, that's it, call out to me, ah. And what do we have at the end, everyone? Yes, the s sound. So write the letters to match those sound buttons, everybody. Have you done it? So g, so that one's quite straightforward, isn't it? To make the g sound for gas, we're going to write the letter G. Then in the middle we've got the ah, so we need the letter A. And then at the end, we've got the S, so that's it. We need the letter S. Don't forget to be calling out those letter names for me because that helps me more than the sounds when I'm writing gas. So, very good. Let's see if we can think and write another word with the G, letter G in. Mm, this is something we've talked a lot about recently because we've had to do lots and lots of hand washing, haven't we? And that's so that we can get rid of any germs that might be on our hands. So the word we're going to try to write is the word germ. Germ. Hmm. Let's listen to those sounds. J, uh, m, germ. J, uh, m, germ. So, yes, there are three sounds in that word. So I need three spaces on my box in my phoneme frame. Germ. Three sounds. So the first sound is the j sound. Mm. Now think about what we've been learning today and then the er uh in the middle and at the end what do we have? That's it, we've got the mm, haven't we? J, um, germ. Okay, have a go at writing the letters to match that sound. Germ. I know it sounded like a j, but is it the letter j I'm going to write? No, it's not. It's the letter g, isn't it? Germ, j, er. Uh. I wonder if some of you wrote this 
the letter U and the letter R there, because usually that is the middle sound spelling, isn't it? But actually in this word, it's the end er sound, which it sometimes does go there, but not very often, but it does in this word. J um, yes, we need the letter M at the end, germ, so a germ. And there we've still got the letter G, just like we did in gas, but this time it's saying a just sound, isn't it? So let's try another one. The next word that we're going to write is the word ginger. Oh, you might like gingerbread men to make, wouldn't you? Or perhaps you like ginger cake. So ginger, let's sound that out on our folding fingers. Get yours ready and join in with me. J, I, N, J, uh, So, oh, did that the wrong way around. Ginger, J, I, N, J, uh, Ginger, J, I, N, J, uh, Ginger, five sounds. I've only got four boxes. You know what we're going to do, everyone? We're going to have to add an extra box on. I know that you're really good at doing that now. So there's my extra box. Quickly add it on. There we go. So we need one, two, three, four, five spaces for writing ginger. It's quite a long word, isn't it? J, I, N, J, E. So we've got the J to begin with. I, N, hiding that one, isn't it? Then the J again. And then the er uh, at the end, ginger. See if you can write the letters to match those sounds. Have you done it? Call out the letter names to me to help me write them as well. So for the j sound, I need the letter, yes, we need the g. And then for the i sound, good, letter i. And then the n, what letter? Yes, need the letter n. And then we've got another j sound, so we need another g. And at the end, the er, uh, end er, uh, yes, e, r, ginger. Mm, I love gingerbread men. This is making me hungry, talking about ginger. Now, just to finish with today, we are going to write a sentence. So I'm going to rub my board, I'm going to leave my letter g up there to remind us that we're thinking and learning about the letter g making a g sound sometimes, and a just sound sometimes. So let's have a listen and a practice saying our sentence. We always say the sentence before we write it. This is the sentence. Can you grow a, oh, can you grow ginger? I forgot then. Can you grow ginger in a magic garden? Can you grow ginger in a magic garden? Oh, eight words. Can you grow ginger? in a magic garden. So pause me now, try to write that sentence on your own, thinking about the fact that it is asking a question, can you grow ginger in a magic garden? So think about what you might need to put at the end of that sentence, if it's a question sentence, and think about what goes at the beginning. So pause me now, have a go. Good, everybody back. I hope you've written that because you're going to help me now. Can you grow ginger in a magic garden? Now, we absolutely know that because it's the first word in our sentence that we need, yep, we need a capital letter, can. Now, we've got a tricky word coming next, you, and it's always quite a tricky one, can you. So it's Y-O-U, can you grow g r o G, oh, there we go, there's our G sound, our letter G. Can you grow, grow, oh, oh, row your boat spelling. Can you grow ginger? Ah, we've already written that one, so we know it's the G, I, N, J, E. Can you grow ginger in, tricky word, in, a, magic, M, A, J, I. Magic. Mm. Ah. J. I. Magic. Can you grow ginger in a magic garden? G. G. Garden. So I need G. A. R. J. G. R. Shark in the park. G. R. D. N. Garden. Can you grow ginger in a magic garden? And it is a question, so I need a... Yes, that's it, everybody. I need a question mark at the end. So let's just have a look and see if we can spot where we've used the letter G in this sentence, shall we? 
can you grow ginger, so we've got the G in two places there, in a magic garden. So we've got lots of letter G's in those words. I wonder which letter G's are making the just sound. G or grow. So that's not the just sound, is it? That's the G sound. Ginger. Oh, there we are. So in ginger, the letter G is making the just sound. Can you grow ginger in a magic? Oh, there we are. There's the letter G making the just sound in magic. And then we've got garden. So the letter G there is making the G. So these two words are G. The letter G is saying G. And in these two words, the letter G is saying G. So good learning today, everyone. We've learned about the letter G. Sometimes it says G, sometimes it says J. Now, ordinarily, it will probably say G more often. So when we're trying to read words with the letter G in, we start with G and then we'll try the J next if it doesn't sound quite right. Good work, everyone. So I hope that everybody has a good rest of their day and I will see you for um, lesson five. This was supposed to be a film by Mrs. Corley. Mr. Watley couldn't work the electronics. Mrs. Lewis said no, no one else would have a go. So now it's time for Mrs. Stevens Phonics. This was supposed to be a film by Mrs. Corley. Mr. Watley couldn't work the electronics. Mrs. Lewis said no, no one else would have a go. So now it's time for Mrs. Stevens Phonics.